Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yasin. Today I have my favorite Android apps for the month of April. First of all, I can't believe it's already April, so I just want to say Happy Easter to everyone out there, but let's just dive right in to the list. Up first, we have an app called Alfred. Yes, Alfred, like Bruce Wayne's butler, aka Batman's butler. And Alfred's here to help if you ever wanted to get a home security camera system but didn't want to pay an arm and a leg. If you have an old smartphone laying around, then this is perfect for you. Just install the app, sign in with your Gmail account, and select whether you want that phone to be the camera or the receiver, and you're done. You can place the phone anywhere in your house, just make sure you also plug it in so it doesn't die on you. Alfred can be used from anywhere in the world. It has a few tricks up its sleeve like telling you the battery percentage or the signal strength and even sending you alerts when it detects motion and recording that motion for up to 30 seconds. I use it around my house and it works flawlessly. Second on the list is Block Hexa. Block Hexa is a fun little game that tests your ability to match up shapes and sizes. You have these th different shaped gems and have to decide how they fit into a pre-made mold. It is definitely a great time waster, as the levels increase so does the difficulty of the puzzle you have to solve. I love the design of the whole game, plus it has a pretty cool background music, which you guys know by now that that's a must for me. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Next app is Cornerfly. So I'm sure anyone that has seen the new LG G6 or the Galaxy S8 has noticed those beautiful screens, especially the curved corners. Cornerfly does exactly that for every other Android phone. Just install it, activate it, and give the right permissions and your screen corners are curved. Now it won't have the same effect as it does on those phones, but it'll definitely add a different dynamic to your phone and give you a new phone feel. Fourth app on the list is Super Mario Run. So I finally got around to playing Super Mario Run on Android, and this game is super fun and the controls are also very simple and easy to get used to. It's a 2D auto run game and all you have to do is tap the display in a variety of ways to do a variety of different jumps. I grew up playing Super Mario and Mario Kart, so this game definitely brings back some great memories. But even if you didn't used to play Super Mario, the storyline is definitely inviting and the next thing you know you've been playing for hours. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Halfway through the list, we have Tipster. You never want to tip too little or too much, but sometimes calculating a tip can be challenging. So mostly we just round it up to the next whole number. With Tipster, it helps you calculate how much you should tip based on how your service was. And this is done by answering a few simple questions. It asks for the number of diners, whether you are paying together or separate, and how much the meal actually cost. Then comes the fun part. You have four categories that you must rate. Simply tap each category to rotate the thumb in the direction of your satisfaction. And bam, Tipster gives you a suggested tip amount per person or per table and it's already added to your total, which makes tipping really easy. Sixth app is a game called Dancing Lines. Dancing Lines is probably my favorite game on the list. It's really soothing and calming game and the controls are very easy. Just tap the screen to change directions and enjoy guiding a line through different levels. It has great background music and each level has its own characteristic that make it very unique and appealing. For instance, in the first level, the piano keys actually move as it plays the music. This is just an awesome game. Right after that, we have All-in-One Calculator. I know, I know, this is probably not what you would expect to see on a best apps list, but trust me, this is the only calculator you'll ever need. From algebra, geometry, unit conversion, to all the way to financial calculations, this bad boy has it all. Give it a try and you won't be disappointed. And oh, it also calculates your BMI based on your weight and height, which I thought was pretty cool. Then it gives you an analysis to let you know where you fit. I guess I'm normal. Eighth app on the list is Two Dot. Two Dot is a game that's really cool and simple. You play by connecting the same color dots and the only catch is that you can't connect diagonally, just up and down and side to side. There are four main colors and there's also a counter on the top that lets you know how many you have left to get to that color. As always, I make sure all my games have great background music and this one does as well. If you're ever in the mood for a relaxing game, then give this one a try. Coming in at number 9 is Techspan. 
So TextPen lets you create shortcuts with your keyboard to use anytime, whether you are texting or searching online. For instance, if you always end your conversations with, okay, goodbye, I'll talk to you later, you can set that to generate whenever you double tap a letter. Say for instance, the letter K. So next time you are texting someone and you are ready to end the conversation, just double tap the K button and a little green bubble shows up and you tap it and you are good to go. This can be used to create shortcuts for almost anything. If you have a long username for an online account or you do specific searches all the time, TextPan really comes in handy. This is a great utility app that saves you lots of time, so definitely give it a try. Final app on the list is Tiki Taka. Tiki Taka is a pretty awesome game. I actually have never seen anything like this before, so when I discovered it, I got addicted right away. Your character is this thing that looks like a ball and you shoot your enemies by dragging your finger on the screen and creating this huge arrow with a power meter. The goal is to release it at the highest point of your power meter and destroy the enemy. You pick up different weapons and accessories as you progress, which makes it even that much more addicting. Conceptually, it seems so simple, yet I couldn't put it down. Give it a try, let me know what you think. So those were my favorite apps for the month of April. I really hope you guys liked the selection. They will be all listed down below in the description so you guys can download them. If you like this video, then I need you to smash that like button. Thanks for watching and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one and until then, stay plugged.